Did I say record? I might not get no video for that. It's re-recording. Heck a day with the wind today. There's no wind in hell. There's no breeze in hell. There's a suffering and torment. Now the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The Bible says in Romans 10 that God loves the feet of them that, that carry the, the good news, the God tidings. You know, many of you may not be satisfied with a preacher preaching about Jesus, but God is. And one day, if you are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will thank the preacher that brought. Or you will be condemned and wake up in hell, defying the Bible, defying God, defying Jesus Christ, and defying a preacher that preaches the Bible. A preacher that does not tell about hell is not a preacher at all. He's a harder. One that gets up in the morning to come forth to bring forth Jesus Christ to the world is a man that's loved by God and hated by the world. And I know many of you hate me and the gospel. That's perfectly fine. Jesus said, marvel not the world hates you. Know that it hated me before it hated you. That's perfectly fine if you want to hate. And then you preach your love. We ought not to hate. I wish that guy shut up about Jesus. Hypocrite. What the world needs is love, and that preacher needs to shut up. Hypocrite. Fool. In America, with the Constitution, I got just as much free right as you to do what you do as I have to do. Preach the Constitution. No. That's what America preaches. I preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. And with the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confessions made unto salvation. A man came up to me and says, turn it down. Well, turn down your race cars because they annoy me. As much as the preaching annoys you. Turn down your wicked and vile satanic music. Just as much as the preaching annoys you. So does the world. And yet God says, go in all the world and preach that gospel. That Jesus Christ alone and only by Jesus Christ are you able to be saved and go to a place called heaven. You will not get to heaven without Jesus. And you can't have a little Jesus and a little good. Your salvation must consist of 100% Jesus and no you. Because when Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. He said, well, preacher, I'll add a little religion. That's an artificial preservative not approved by God. 
And when you add an artificial preservative, God's going to spew you out. You're going to make God sick. People say, preacher, I'll be good. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. But preacher, but, 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 will you stop butting God, you billy goat? And will you come to God as a lamb that needs to be washed? To the lamb of God which take away the sin of the world? Can you come to Jesus, the cleansing power? Because there is nothing that will cleanse you. God says, come now. Let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You have told a lie in your lifetime. You are a liar. You have taken something without permission. You are a thief. You have dishonored your parents. You are a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The Bible says that without Jesus, you're condemned already. But when you die as a believer in the righteousness of Jesus, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Because you have believed on the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, is the blessed hope. And without Jesus Christ, there is no hope. You are hopeless. Jesus said, you must be born again. And that new birth comes by, believing on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Life is short. Eternal life is without measure. And it will be torment without Jesus. Without Jesus, your eternal life will be hell. Now this is not hell. I'll tell you how I know it's not hell. There's water over there. Now the Bible speaks of hell as a lake of fire, but there's no water. 
The rich man said, oh, if I could have a drop of water to cool my tongue. The breeze feels good in a sunny, hot Florida. There is no breeze in hell. There's no air conditioning or climate control in hell. There's no juicy fruits and vegetables in hell. Enjoy them now. Reject Jesus. Enjoy those fruits now because you won't enjoy them in hell. There is Bible preaching now. You won't get that in hell. I guarantee you go to hell, you will not hear preaching. You won't care to hear preaching. Because there will be no more hope. But wouldn't it be great torment? I'm speaking off the wall. I do it frequently. Wouldn't it be torment if you're in hell, you get to hear my voice all eternity? Jesus saves, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, Jesus saves. That's a torment. I don't know, but what if that was torment? There'll be no need to preach Jesus in heaven. All those in heaven have been saved by Jesus. And it's sad to say, according to the Bible, many of you that hear the voice of the preaching of Jesus, you will go to hell. The Bible says, broad is the way that leads into destruction. See, the Bible already tells you, when you go out there and tell them about Jesus and the gospel, many are not going to listen to you. The Bible also says, marvel not if the world hates you. I know many of you hate me. The Bible said you would. But the Bible says strength is the gate that leads us to life, Jesus. And the few be that find it. Listen, I don't care if the 99 hate me for Jesus, but if that one will come, that one sinner will come and repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, even the angels in heaven rejoice. I'm not here for the masses. The masses go to the Catholic Church and die and go to hell. I am here for God's Son. I am here, the Bible tells me in Mark 16, going in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You have nothing better to offer God but God's Son. Nothing matches what Jesus has done on Calvary Hill. You say, well, preacher, What's the difference between your Jesus and my religion? The empty tomb. My Jesus was buried and the angel said, He is not here. He is risen. And it has nothing to do with Easter Bunny and chocolate eggs. It has to do with our salvation. Because Paul said, if there be no resurrection of Jesus, there is no life. 
and you might as well eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. And since we have the empty tomb, we have salvation wrought by God, through God, by Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ alone. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God's satisfaction is the satisfaction of his son being tortured, suffering, and dying with our sins being laid upon him. And there is no sin that God cannot cleanse. No sinner will God reject if you come through Jesus Christ. And only through Jesus Christ. There is no salvation in any other but Jesus. There is no other means where the Bible says you must be saved but through Jesus Christ. Thank you, no. Without Jesus, you will go to hell. Faith and belief in Jesus. You'll be absent from this body and present with the Lord. It's plain and simple. Jesus is the salvation. Jesus is the way to get to the Father. And the Father will not accept anything but the gospel of His Son. The Father will only take the blood of Jesus Christ. He does not take works. He does not take religion. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Have you been washed in the blood of Jesus? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb that take away the sin of the world? Have you, been, have you been to God for the cleansing power? Because if you have not, you will not come to the Father. And if you have come to Jesus in faith and belief and in repentance, when you die, you'll be absent from your body and present with the Lord. Hell is full of good people. Hell has a place for religion. Hell has no place for the born-again, Bible-believing Christian washed in the Lamb of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.